I think people really feel that they're up in the air at the end of the film when you watch it with audiences and they're gasping and moving and, and it feels like a real ride and there's something very magical about that. At the beginning of the film, when the balloon is taking off, we shot this sequence on the first day and I had to, I was sitting in the ring of the balloon, so the, the ring sits a little bit higher than the basket and I had to jump from the ring down into the basket while we were about 3,000 feet in the air. And I think that was one of the most intimidating things I've done, but, um, but was actually quite exhilarating in the end. There's a bit towards the end of the film where these two people are hurtling towards the ground as the balloon disintegrates. And and Felicity and I were basically up on this hoop of a balloon for maybe two weeks, having all sorts of elements, wind machines, leaves, bushes sort of whipped in our face. And it was total chaos and carnage. And I found it pretty intense, but compared to what Felicity had to go through in the film, it was nothing. I worked really closely with the stunt team and I started training with them a good couple of months before I started shooting the film. And I had done a lot of acrobatic training uh, with an acrobat who had worked with Cirque du Soleil. So that gives you a really good foundation and a lot of core strength, which is what you need to do those, those stunt sequences. And so it's like anything, it's practice, practice, practice. It's so interesting with stunts quite often when you're doing stunt work on films, you have weeks preparing with stunt people and it's like a, learning a dance or something it's really uh, delicate and intricate and then sometimes there are situations when you just get put in it for real and real stuff gets thrown at you and the camera catches something that's completely unrehearsed and unprepped and, and that's what the director wants and there was a lot of that in this film you'd turn up to work every day and you'd be suddenly dunked into loads of water or have snow being thrown at you or shooting in a refrigerated set so that all your breath was cold there was something every day on this film it was one of the most crazy jobs I've done. I wasn't actually scared of heights before I started the film. And then now, now I know the risks. Um, I'm definitely more cautious. But I, I think with ballooning, it's, you, it's a very gradual ascent. So it's only when you're sort of halfway through the trip that you suddenly look down and you go, wow, we're really high up here. And, there's nothing between you know the ground and us, but I, you have to embrace it. You sort of embrace the freedom of it, and it's the closest you get to feel to what it's like to fly. You know, I didn't. I everything about making this film. Of course, there's the element of going up on a balloon, but I weirdly didn't have any fear of that until we had our, the sort of near-death experience, <laughs> after which I had a lot of fear on it. But for me, it's the same anxieties that you have whenever you go to work, that you're trying to do the best possible job and you're trying to battle your way through your own self-doubt. But getting to do that with a dance partner like Felicity Jones was uh, made it that much easier, you know? Maintaining that um, that freezing temperature, what, one of the things we did, Eddie and I did, was we plunged our hands into freezing cold water in ice buckets so that we could give hopefully a truthful expression of being really cold but I just do remember Tom shouting from behind the camera saying you gotta look more cold it looks too warm so it was a lot of like pulling down little bits I mean they, they're hardly wearing anything but little bits of coat and things like that and a lot of shivering acting yeah, it was bloody cold it just really was cold one of the great things actually acting cold is harder than you think and so to our um mildly um, masochistic director Tom Harper, he decided that rather than us act it, he would just create it for us. It was amazing to see actually all the visual effects come together and the time and the detail that had gone into them. No, I, I had high expectations when I read the script because it's so visually spectacular in, in your imagination. And I thought if they could, if Louis and his team, the visual effects team could catch an iota of that it would be it would be wonderful but even though as an actor as you're part of the process you see the various elements of the process you don't just get shown the final film you see it in each stage and when I saw this last or well, one of the climactic moments in, 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 moments in the film when Felicity stands on top of the world um, it took my breath away.